That's better. Well, congratulations, squab. You survived your first lesson. Good news, when you're troubleshooting and or replaying because of a glitch, uh, fast forward mode comes in handy for that too, as it turns out. <laughs> now that you know the basics, we can build on them. As a part of the introductory offer, of the Temple of Beating, every new client gets two Heal Grease Plus at the end of their first lesson. Just remember the way that robot beats you around, you're gonna need it. Come grab me again when you're ready for your next lesson. Does it cost money? I gained a level! Yay! All I had to defeat was the game breaking. Ha 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 Spooky arena. He looks like Patrick Stewart, and this looks like the room for Zerebro, kind of. Even though he looks like he's dressed like Picard. Oh, this is probably a door, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, we're back here now. Dang. Looking at my bag of glodons, huh? Been collecting glodons for ten long years now. I know all about them. Glodons are odd rodents bathed in neuron radiation. They fuel your fuel shield cells and power belts. So they're a definite must if you're going to get into any scraps. They were originally discovered on Hephaestus, a lava planet where all those wonky monks live. Glodons are easy to breed and easy to raise from similar, non-radiated rodents. They're such a cheap power source, everyone's using them now. Even Cordicom finally got in on the action and markets them. The only real nasty thing about them is their odor. And the fact that shield cells and power belts consume them. Lock, stock, and whiskers. Here, take one. It's worth 40 energy. But don't get too friendly with it. They're meant for fuel, not companionship. Ah, the poor Glodens. It's just this like th this like writhing bag. Glodens, you consume them for energy, but they're like alive. Hello, f angry frogs. All right, well that's incomprehensible. Pfft. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we're going to solve that mystery today, so let's just get back out there. Let's see. Should I do more training? That last lesson got your blood, your blood pumping, didn't it? Ready for more? Bring it. That's the spirit. How much cost? Crack your knuckles, pull up your socks, and let's begin. The next major element you need to learn about is distance. The distance between you and your enemies can make all the difference in the world. For example, someone who fights with their bare hands or a stick needs to be close to their enemy in order to land a blow, while someone with a gun can attack from further away. Don't roll your enemies at me, squab. R roll your eyes at me, squab. For all you know, I haven't had a cent of common se uh, sense in, th in that cranium. Till you prove otherwise, I gotta state the, more the obvious. There are two attack types, melee and range. Melee attacks require the attacker to be close, while ranged attacks can be done from a distance. You just said that. I saw that. I swear to Claus, son, if you roll your eyes at me one more time, and I'll knock, I'll knock him out for good, you hear me? How about we beat some of that attitude out of you? Oh, violence! Are you gonna attack at range? Oh god, he's coming. Remember your last lesson taught you about the different battle icons? We're gonna focus on the move command now. When you click the move icon, the movement grid will appear, allowing you to select any available node you want to travel to. Let's try an exercise. I'm gonna set the robo target to melee attack only. Try avoiding it for as long as possible using the move button. Let's see how far those chicken legs get you. I mean, we're in a circle, so right now standing, like it's, it's hard to avoid it. Let's see. Interesting. So that's the nodes. Click to move? Okay. Was that- I think the little mini game I played earlier was practice for this. What a great camera angle for showing this fight. We can actually go that far? No. Oh. 
Right, you don't click on the- you don't interact with the, this environment, you only click on icons. I gotta get used to that. I keep trying to click on the little nodes. Ooh. Not bad. It took him a while to catch up to you, boss. Not the most useful tactic in battle, but it's nice to know your options in a pinch. Listen, if you're gonna make a habit of, of, out of getting slapped around every time I throw you in the ring, I better teach you how to heal yourself. I personally recommend Corticom Heal Grease for all your healing needs. Its antibiotic healing grease prevents scars, infection, and relieves pain. It's a specially formulated compound salve that works instantly on humans, non-humans, and bots alike. Imagine a downtrodden bastard such as yourself should keep one handy at all times. Hey! Luckily for you, Kodakam, gives me, uh, me a free supply of standard heal grease every month for endorsing their product. Here's a sample tube. To use heal grease, use, uh, you'll need to select the, the item icon, choose the heal grease, and click on your portrait. Pay attention, son. The wandering mind is the first to get torpedoed. Howie. <sighs> I should- oh, I just used plus instead of regular, didn't I? <clears throat> that's the free- that's the one I got from the last case, not the one I was supposed to use just now. Feels nice, doesn't it? 500! That's a lot. You can never have enough heal grease, so stock up when you don't- when you have the chance, my boy. On the other hand, heal grease is unnecessary if you ever, never take damage in the first place, which brings us to our next exercise. So it looks like they can move and then attack. So if you can run into a corner and completely avoid getting them caught up with you at all, then you can actually stave off damage for a turn. But if you, uh, <clears throat> if they can catch up with you by getting to a parallel tile, they'll still attack. I think that, yeah, the uh, little mini game thing was kind of like a weird sort of practice to the logic of how movement works. Now that we've made appropriate changes in the area, to the arena, I'm going to teach you something that might give you the whip hand and the counter. Sometimes you'll have the opportunity to use the surrounding environment to your advantage. Whenever you're standing next to something that can be used in battle, an action icon will appear. Take a good look at the, at the current movement grid. Know that there are two places for you to move, directly in front of you and to your left. Step to the node on your left, using the move icon, and use the action icon to activate the switch there. This is our chance to interact with the environment for weird puzzle fights. Yeah, and this is how you choose the options, which is a little... That's a little weird. So he's gonna walk between... He's gonna walk between those nodes, and I'm gonna, probably gonna electrocute him. Ba -da doom See, so you now what you've done? Take a look at the movement grid. Notice the lasers are now cutting off that node. Since the robo-target is set to melee mode, he can't attack you. Take this opportunity to show show him bedlam with your ranged weapon. Dust him. Alright. Zoop. Fast forward. Phew. Well, he's fucked. You're making progress, squab. Just realize that having a ranged weapon doesn't always mean you'll hit your intended target. Line of sight can come into play during battle as well. There's line of sight? For example, if someone stands directly between you and the enemy, chances are you won't hit them and vice versa. Ah. Uh. So people can block shots based on their positioning. Okay, okay. I can see you're getting that insulin look again. We better end this lesson before you push me too far and I can your face. Come grab me when you're ready for the next lesson. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Yay! I just said my trust is broken after the first episode. <laughs> What's funny <clears throat> is I think I think in my let's try I, I did the first lesson. And I don't think that bug happened. But it didn't, it didn't happen the second time either, so it's just, it's just a weird thing that happens sometimes. Being able to save anywhere will be handy. <clears throat> the last lesson got your blood pumping, didn't it? Ready for more? You're almost ready to graduate from the Temple of Beating, but there's still a handful of tricks left to show you. Why don't we step into the ring for your final lesson? Some adversaries you encounter will have attacks with lingering properties. These effects are called status effects. Take, for instance, the bindle bag. When you throw one at the enemy, they will experience a burn state effect until the flames go out. The same is true if someone nails you with one too. Here, take these bindle bags and test them out on your friend here. Three bindle bags. Let's speed up here, there we go. Using the item icon, click on the bindle bag and select the robo target icon. Click. 
Spindle bag. I, I wish it explained what items did better in this menu. What? Okay. Nice. Looks like he blew off some of his fiddly bits. As you can see, status effects make excellent weapons in battle. But with better weapons comes the need for better defense. That's where shield cells come in. Shield cells give you an extra layer of protection, forcing your enemies to chew through your shields before they can get to you. I'll let you borrow an old shield cell for training purposes, but don't ever even think about running off with it. Even my worst shield cell is worth more, more than everything you own. Except maybe the life cursor. As with other weapons and equipment, shield cells must be equipped before battle. Before. Well, that's a problem for me, isn't it? Alright, let's test this sucker out. Notice that before you were using the shield cell, you had 200 health, but now you have 40 more hit points. This extra health is from the shield. Let me activate Robo Target so you can test your personal shield in action. Deck him in the face. See? He barely managed to scrape me that time. The shield took the brunt of the beating. It's the last and most important advice I'm going to give you, son. Invest in a shield pack. Now give it back before you forget to return it. Hmm. Gonna have to figure out how to make some money so I can have extra health. And with that, I send you off into the greatest, big, wonderful world of beating strangers, my boy. Whackmaster Jack can teach you no more. Anything else you're going to learn, you gotta earn at the cost of your own blood, out there in the field when it counts. Give or give and take, cut and thrust, make them bray, and never be afraid to shoot them in the ding-dong. <laughs> take care, kid. Don't die dumb or anything, although in your case, I guess that's inevitable. Lesson journeys. Well, he was nice. He told me I was doomed, but he gave me free stuff, so like, you know, it, it, even, it evens out. Maybe even a positive. Well, people were generally just helpful around here. But I guess that, there goes the money I got earlier, probably. The save point I made a minute ago is called 13. I don't know why. 16. The first save I made is, says 0, 032, the second one says 0, 016. I'm just confused. You would think it's like how much time I've played, but it, go, it went down. That's why I'm confused. Oh well. At least, uh... There's at least there's screenshots to help you know which one's which. Alright, so I, I need to find a, a B battery. And then I'll be able to use my robo friend to open certain spots. So if we go to the Fountain Spiral, I have a lead on a potential job. Nick Plum. I'm supposed to be going to my girlfriend's house, but if I wait ten more minutes, Nacronox will rearrange itself, placing her closer to me, so I don't have to travel as far. You gotta be smart and think ahead when traveling on a Nacronox. It's just hard giving directions. So that's what we saw earlier with that rotating city. The whole place moves continuously. Platform, Tenements, Frank's Flophouse, and Anachronox Tours. Fling bot. I fling things for a buck. I'll fling your trench coat for a buck. That's right. I'll fling anything for a buck. Doesn't matter the shape or size. I'll fling it right over the rail for a buck. I fling myself down there for a buck. Uh, I think it's illegal for you to throw things down into the fountain, dude. Are you serious? Whee! I think he just exploded. Goodbye. He... He was my friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Poor Fee for Wilcox. First he had to be born with that name, then he had lost his only friend. It's a long hallway. Oh, come back here. 
Baz Burbleman. Do you have the package? Oh, wait. Ah. Uh, nothing. I'm just, uh, waiting for my wife. <laughs> Do you have the package? Hey, you got the stuff. I mean, um, uh, hello, stranger. That echo does not sound great. They're pretty spread out areas. Scotch Ferguson. Vertigo. Here. Now. So dizzy. Must breathe deep. I tried to walk up the sloped green grav path that leads to Kasanox, just around this corner. But as soon as I felt myself walking up the wall, I panicked and kicked off. The relative gravity system is madness. When I look up and see people walking on the ceilings, it just breaks my mind. It reminds me too much of... of Madeline. The key is to stay in the same plane. So he has a vertigo. We can't deal with these situations. Hi! Unnecessary. Shit. Damn. Fuck. Ow. God, immediately? Fuck that guy. Please explode, explode to death. 200 damage, yeah! That's how much health I have. Boots. Gain a thousand experience. And I got a heal grease plus. That's good. What's this little thing? Bleh. Bugs are crawling on that thing. I think it's an ant hole. So that's like the... It's kind of the deal. Boots. There we go. Glowing radiated mouse. 32 energy. I thought he said 40 earlier. Did I imagine that? Alright, so now we're healed up. Is there something over here? Oh, This would freak me out, honestly. Why did it fade to red for a second there like I was dying? <laughs> That's... Video game, generally speaking, like, f red flash doesn't give good feedback. What did he look like? Bandana and ponytail, I think. I don't remember, it happened so fast. I'm pretty sure he was shirtless, and his nipples were pierced, and I think I caught a whiff of a spasm for perfume. Hmm. You notice anything funny about his eyes? Now that you mention it, one eye was completely red. Then he's a member of the Junkyard 20 gang. Their number have grown ever since the Sacred Fools disbanded after the Sewer Wars. Admission to the Junkyard 20 demands a, a painful rite of passage. They hollow out the inductee's left eye with a Gorian heat fork and some disinfection acid. Then a ruby robo eye cup is stuffed into the empty socket. I doubt we'll find your purse, ma'am, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, officer. You're so unbelievably nice for a Nox guard. What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> Would you like me to walk you home, ma'am? Heavens no, my dog would disown me. Now that's high comedy, folks. Hey, shut up. Nope. Are they all built into the one conversation together? Warren Cooley. They're warning women to avoid loitering near transition areas. There's a purse snatcher who makes his move when the city plates change. He snags the purse at the last second, then makes good on his escape by hopping right onto a moving plate. Makes you hope he slips and gets cut in half someday. Damn. That would go really bad. Buttons? Nope. Buttons, buttons. This is a crazy city. So is it those crazy gravity walls you can walk on like in the first Prey game? 
There we go. We love our customers. Hello. Didn't I just walk on a wall to go up and now I'm go taking gravity down? Uh, taking your elevator down? I guess we don't know where I went ultimately during that fade to black. I'm going to kill him. Oop. Ah. How did I... Oh, I clicked on the save guy. Why not? No, don't quit playing. Quit the menu. There we go. No, wait. First I'm going to take all of his money. Then I'm going to kill him. My father deserved better. Simon Longer must die for what he did. Too bad his address isn't listed on Sendernet. If I only knew where Simon Longer lives, I could avenge the death of my father. So if I can find the, the location of Simon Longer, then maybe I can get paid. When I tell her. It's another elevator. This looks like a door. Another floater. I know secrets. Lots of them. We could share a few if you've got any to spare. Look, you little beefer. I know every Stulola from here to the reservoir. And you ain't a regular. Regardless, I know things. For example, one of Detta's crash doctors threw a private dick out a window today. Just a few blocks away from here. Flung like a rag doll. So you heard about that, huh? Big deal. You gotta do better than that if you want to impress me. Your first pet was a miniature spitzer named Earl. What's your rate, Chunker? Strictly a quid pro quo arrangement. I believe the free exchange of information should be the goal of every civilized society. Don't you think? Keeps everyone just a little more honest. So I gotta share my dirt with you before you'll sprinkle any of your own, huh? That's the idea. I'll be here for the next few hours if you have any inquiries, detective. Well, hello, named character. That's that's C C Conrad Kutsuk that we heard before. The second floater. He, he knows my dog. I loved that dog. Greetings, detective. Anything I might uncloud for you? No. Nope. I'm sure you'll need my services again very soon, Detective. I'll be waiting right here. Being them looks like a pain in the ass. They just kind of float in place. A bunch of wings and tentacles, but no hands or legs. Garbage? It looked strangely interactive. Something knows. Ellie knows? I think Ellie knows. Oh no, Ellie knows. Who knew we'd find a spoiler in like a 20 year old game? Whoa, hello, photo. Haven't I seen her before? Wasn't she planning a rebellion? You seen this woman? Nope, never seen her. Right. Run along. Wasn't she planning a resistance against the Nox Guards or something? That was a little while ago. Um... Someone's on fire just around the corner. This area is closed off until he puts himself out. Aren't you gonna put him out, Dick? There's just a burning guy running around in the background. I guess we're going to Frank's Flob House then. The Tenman area. Most other paths seem locked off. I might get lost around here. I have to start drawing a map of all these connected locations and which ones are where. Ooh, 
for that matter, I might, might want to make a, a note card that just tells me the controls of all the weird things. Because there's a bunch of function commands in this game. Hello. Envelope with $50 in it. Shit. <laughs> Didn't I pay like... Isn't that how much I paid for training? Are they leaving offerings for this guy? Hey, little guy. They're kind of cute, terrifying, like a Furby. Galas, creature repair, and ferroplasty? Rhinoplasty is noise. Would ferroplasty be like robot mods? Like ferrous? Like metal? A verbo slug. Don't touch that, you release all the larva. See all those little gub bugs? They breed on the warm underbelly of those conductor pipes. The molt onto the grating must be, be... And molt onto the grating before coming up to search for food. Careful where you step. The Berbulians have an old saying. Step on a gub, your life will stub. Well, something gets lost in the translation, but you get the point. It's bad luck, man. That sweet smell isn't fruta. Grub, gub bug excrement is coated with a syrupy oil that attracts speedier, speeder lice. Their main dietary staple. It's funny, they literally duke where they eat. Uh, <laughs> that fruta vendor probably regrets setting up shop here, huh? No wonder he's always in such a foul mood. Man, check out that spiracle on that one. I think I'm in love. Fox a spiracle. Uh, Ed, oh, it's Eddie knows. Those are D's. Eddie. Is Eddie the crime word guy that everyone's going after, potentially? Garaka ya. Delicious fruta, raised with love and carnival seeds. Lovely fruta, coveted by greedy eye and greedy hand. Precious fruta, cultivated by Klaus himself. Beautiful fruta. Constant target of hungry thievery. Do not touch the fruit of Fresca. It is not for sale. Don't touch the Fresca. Ooh, what's back here? Nothing! Whee! I wonder why they let you in there. Steal not the fruta. The fruta is not for sale. What? The fruta is for display only. Why is it for display? Okay. I thought, I, thought, I thought they meant like a fresco machine or whatever. Like a drink. Do they mean don't touch Don't touch anything. Alright, well, that's unfortunate that you think you can stop me. Oh, repair. Creature repair. Oh my god, it's just a tiny nightmare person. It's like playing Norwood Sweet. Bread half jaw. My stupid kid broke his arm trying to reach a uh, Bifridi working on a construction strut. Little brat. <laughs> Mon half jaw. The kid is just a tiny person of then. It's vaguely terrifying. Everything just says don't touch anything. Gala. Nice to see you alive and kicking, Boots. I was sure dead I'd sent you to Marble Town. What? Oh, it's a store. Gotcha. This is... I haven't been here yet. Time Minder. Resurrects a dead-ish character and restores some hit points. That's a fun way of, of explaining what zero hit points is like. Dead-ish. Great. I have 165 cash. Come back to Gala soon. It's Gala's Galleria. Haha. <laughs> Unfortunately, she doesn't sell a B battery. Ooh. Was that. A... Why is that called a taco? <laughs> what? No. Uh. Exit menu. I meant to do. Party. 
It's a totally arbitrary collectible object. Taco. Oh. Well, alrighty then. We learned something today. Totally arbitrary collectible object. Huh. That looked like a door to me. I mean, that is a door, but one I'm not supposed to open, probably. Because it goes into a store. Talks to us through a window on purpose. Ooh. Maybe I can fix my guy up. Bolo Torver. There's something wrong with my bot, man. It's not the engine. It's not the wiring. It's not the circuitry. I don't know what's wrong with her. They better fix my baby. Fix my baby. Gotta ever tell you how she got into this business? She started her career in cyber as a cyberneticist. When her son was nearly killed by a swerver accident, she devised a radical new grafting process to save him. It was a major advancement in traditional biomelting techniques. Gal is a multi-millionaire, but she insists on working the shop herself. Here on Anachronox of all places. She said something about the bricks needing her help most. Don't tell her I told you though, mom would kill me. There's a lot of characters, so if I ever have to talk to somebody twice, I'll almost certainly forget what, whatever kind of voice I tried to give them the first time. Unless they're major. I'm just randomly picking things, for the most part. Mmm. They better fix my baby. Fix my baby. Seems interesting. I'm just rapidly clicking everything, trying to see if anything is interactive. So that's the thing that I can use with my robot friend. First I need a battery so he can be powered. I kind of thought this place might sell one, but it seems like that's not the case. Really gotta keep an eye out, that, that door was kind of easy to miss. Not that one. Oh! Oh no, surprise combat against two guys. Ow. Um. Shit. They'll still both be able to attack me. Could buy a turn away from being attacked by one of them for a bit, though. Uh, I, I keep forgetting, though. Yeah, you spend an entire turn moving. I got the impression from that robot that they can move, then attack. But I, I don't seem to be able to move and then do a thing. And then they just immediately surrounded me again anyway. Oh, guys, attacking first. Not, no. Heal me, or protect me from incoming damage. This is going to be a lot right now. I really need a party member. My character seems hilariously inept at combat. Okay, that's better. Stop it! Twenty-six doesn't feel like a lot. Shit, how much health do they have? What? Oh, it missed. Shit, they're dangerous. Oh god. Okay, less damage than expected. Fuck that guy. I need one of them to just die right now. That won't hurt me, will it? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have damage just to take them out on the spot. Morning. Morning. Transition minor on plate Fuck! Six. He's just throwing bombs at me! Holy crap. 
You expect fights to be kind of a sleepwalk at this point in a playthrough. So you take occasional fire damage just all the time. No. Oh. That was only my second time hitting him, right? So now we learn that they have like 50 health. And I do about half that per shot. So I'm actually pretty hardy compared to them. I could definitely take them on out in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So I wish I hadn't spent a bomb on that one-on-one -on -one fight earlier. But the two-on-one -on -one was getting bad pretty quickly, especially with the bomb throwing. So I don't exactly regret throwing a bomb at them. Transition plate 27 is currently unaligned. Please keep this area clear in the event of a transition. The district of South Anachronox is not liable for injury or death resulting from blade transitions. Alright, these little cutscenes look weird. They make me walk away. Okay. I think this is another hint at the idea that, like, this place moves around over time and that will mean that I get access to different parts of the level. It probably as a pro I, I imagine it's when I progress the story. So progressing the story probably makes certain crime scenes go away so you can continue that way and then certain other spots to- oh god. There we go. I can skip that at least. Right, these guys are incomprehensible. The, the slightly angry looking frog people. Bugs are crawling on that thing. Ew. Gross. Do I tap control or hold? Oh, you hold it, okay. So holding control uses your character's ability. So I imagine other characters have different abilities. We'll head into Frank's flop house. Eddie knows. Eddie knows all. Eddie's coming for you. Door? No. Mad Magayuchi XR9 Seppuku. Didn't I warn you about loitering in front of Joe's? Don't talk back to me. You do not want to talk back to me. Remember what happened last time you talked back to me? Hey! You better watch that mouth or I'll hammer you all out all three kinds of your teeth. I'll hammer out all 300 of your teeth. Understand? 300 teeth, holy shit. How you gotta handle these- That's how you gotta handle these Brabulians. They're as stubborn as they are stupid. What did you say to me? That's right, I didn't think so. I have no idea even how to- Oop. Joe's, uh, Jose's Eatery. I have no idea what to even go for. For, like, what kind of sound that guy would make. It's just framed as being a bunch of zeros with different pieces of the zero missing, basically. Elevator. Mary Clegg's. Please? Nice view, huh? If I was gonna kill myself, this is where i jump from. Jesus Christ. A lot of gravity death references in this game. Some intentional. People take the one-way dive from up here all the time. It happens pretty often around here. Really, the only thing stopping me from taking the plunge myself is the new Meatless album coming out next month. I gotta hear it. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, people sound really happy in Anachronox. Really having a great time planning their suicide on a regular basis, apparently. Look at that happy dinosaur neon sign. Aww. Oh, that's the, uh, language. All those weird circles with chunks of it missing. That's what those guys are speaking. The, the Battletoads. I'm gonna call them Battletoads. I already don't remember what his name was. Whatever they called them. Now it's up to 43. 
I wonder if it's like a timer, but it only counts up during that session, then it resets to zero each time. It's just weird that it seemed to reset to zero. I'm not sure what use that is, if it just tells you how long your current session was. Barton Arms. Can't go there either. Eddie knows. Well. That's spooky. <laughs> There's a mysterious guy somewhere in the bricks named Eddie who knows things. You can never have enough contact, so keep an eye out. Yeah, there's a next level amount of, like, on-the-nose uh, graffiti about that everywhere. Canadian dollar. Due to a freak of galactic commerce, this has become the standard unit of currency for the galaxy. Some areas still use non-digital money. The one dollar coin is called a loony because it has a loon on the back. We actually use loonies. We use Canadian loonies as the, as the, like, intergalactic currency. Democritus. Planet of overly fair inhabitants, who vote on the smallest decision. If they think they might want to go to the bathroom, they call two friends to decide. Sounds like the future reminds, reminds me of the Futurama, like, neutrality planet. Duhan, Fatima. Fatima. Oh, Fatima Duhan, that's her name. Me. I was Boots' personal secretary for a long time. Then I died. And you, to be cruel, had me digitized so I could serve you in the afterlife. Thanks. Oh, and yes, you've been mispronouncing my name for years. Great. <laughs> I'm the asshole in real life and in the game. Hephaestus, the lava planet, was the first place the Mysterium technology, or the Mysterium art pieces, was discovered in the Mysterium Levant, home to the Mysteria Monastery. Life Cursor, a corticum device that is a flying personal digital assistant. Mysterium technology, Mystech, theorized alien technology first found in Hephaestus, in the Mysterium Levant. Others believe it was the art of a long-dead alien race. Sender. Throughout the galaxy are planet and moon-sized chrome spheres with spikes sticking out of them. The spikes send out radio signals, and if you home on them as soon as you are close enough, you are sent through a hyperspace tunnel to somewhere else in the galaxy by another sender. Thought to be a means of travel for some unknown, unknown alien race. Oh my fucking god, it's Mass Effect Relays. <laughs> Just straight up Mass Effect Relays. There's even a fucking Prime Relay. Sender 1. The biggest sender humankind knows of. It rests near the center of the galaxy. Floating outside is the sender station. And inside of it is the Citadel. I mean, the Anachronox. Sender Station. Center Station is the center of a galactic commerce and home to SET. The Sender Economy and Trading Commission. They were all cut up on, on those details. Collectibles. Oh, hey. Taco number one. It's a taco. It actually is a little taco trophy. That's what it was. When I first saw it, I thought it was a little, like, satellite thing, so I was confused. Looks like we have collectible action figures, emblems, and then tacos. Some hot nonsense. Was that? Was that? Was that? Was that? Oh, heel grease. This game is gonna. I have to be really careful. Like, there's things in the environment that just do not stand out. Is somebody making the graffiti right now? Like, this time it was just a consumable, but later it might be important. I think this is all a dead end leading to there. Let's get back to the elevator. Oh my god, having fast forward is so nice. What a fucking quality of life feature to have. And you're not even supposed to know about it because it's like a secret feature only for the developers, apparently. Did I walk past this guy on the way in? Probably. Oopsie. Loading screen. They're invisible. 
Yeah, he's all stealthy like. You remind me of a guy in my precinct. He's different from the rest of the Nox guards. He wears a leather jacket over his uniform and a pair of jeans. He's got his own set of rules, testing the limits of the law with his own brand of street justice. And I hate him. So get away from me before I take it out on your face. What a friendly guy. Well, it's enough of him. Dude, everyone wants that. Everyone wants you to know that Eddie knows. Like, holy shit! What a PR campaign. Can I click on it? No. I can't like inspect it. What is that? Corticom Auto Map. Hey, you lost. For one loony, I'll lead you wherever you want to go. But I don't wait for no slackers. You lose me, you lose out. Get me? So where to, kid? What does he fucking just sprint to the location? You have to just chase him all the way there. I can go other places, but the guards have them blocked off right now. There's a lot of places. I'm just gonna keep exploring. Oh, well, excuse me, princess. Alright, Floyd, cal cal calm your jets. Oh. Is this Frank's flop house? I barely have a chance to kind of almost read the text on the top of the screen before it completely finishes the loading because this is. You know, this game was built for different load times. Hi? What's your deal? We are alien magicians. Beware our wily tricks. This is starting to feel like a sci-fi Zelda game, where it's just full of hot nonsense characters everywhere. Don't look away for a moment. We're masters of illusion. Are they gonna rob me? I feel like they're gonna steal my wallet. See our magical arm movements. Imagine our feats of amazingness. Our tricks defy death. Our illusions mock logic. Our illusions will blind you. Our spells will possess you. Jesus Christ. Please don't steal my wallet. <laughs> I really feel like they're gonna like, like, woo, look how crazy we are. And they then steal my money when I'm not looking. Severophone. I can't believe Frank is letting the Time Mender hang out and play in his place of business. All they do is sit around waiting for people to give him affection and feed him. The life, huh? Time Menders perceive, perceive time as a simultaneous occurrence, not a progression. Like Dr. Manhattan. For them, time doesn't flow forward like it does for us. Everything is occurring at the same time. Their birth, their death, it's all happening now. They see old time as a whole. When you pet one, you achieve a small measure of immortality. You exist in their memory, just not just as a mo at the moment, but at every moment they ever have and ever will experience, or something like that. Most people pet time menders before any big undertaking, but me thinks people pet them a little too often. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something in Yakuza. It does, it reminds me of, uh, is it the luck cat? Is that what I'm thinking of? In Japan, I think there's, there's certain trinkets and like figures that somebody would be, t would be tempted to react to and interact with whenever they're about to do something risky. Good luck. Well, we made it to Frank's. Need a room? Five dollars a pop. What room's Dinamo in? That's confidential. In fact, that's about five bucks worth of confidentiality. Payola. She's in room A, sucker. Can I see what you look like? No. Nope. He looks like Serious Sam. With the brown hair and all that. The white shirt and the jeans. Hmm. It's so a room A. Literally the closest room. Is where D Dynamo is at. Seems interesting. Sure does. 
35 seconds. Okay, uh, it was arrow keys and spacebar. Okay, so let's go. Well, that was unusually lucky. Every single answer was one away from where it was currently set to. Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. No, come on in. I could use the company. Uh, Valesta sent me to see you about a job. Get about it. This old guy, Grumpos. He hires me to go into the tunnels, right? Bring back some mistech, easy job. Hell, I wasn't there ten minutes when something came out of nowhere and did this to me. I mean, look. Look at me. And the old bastard won't even pay me. He said, no mistech, no money. He's in the tenements next to the movie theater. If you want to punch him in the face for me. Right in the face. Bummer. She's down two limbs and has nothing to show for it. What is this? Hey, that's Felesta's bracelet. Can you take it back to her? Got the bracelet. Can you use these ladders? Probably not. Tell Valesta what happened. Please. I need a friend here. Wound welding and galas will cost me 200 loonies. How am I going to buy new limbs? I've got an itch on a phantom limb. What a bummer. It sounds like there's solutions for that, though. Wound welding? That's not a lockpick thing. There's, there is some kind of solution. She seemed weirdly casual about it. I wasn't sure how recently the wound happened. So I was thinking that maybe there was some kind of solution, like people can repair that kind of stuff or something. It keeps throwing me off that the mouse teleports to parts of the screen constantly. Ito, look around. This was a mausoleum. This was a mausoleum. Hey, don't run away from me. You should hear this if you're ever gonna sleep here. Close your eyes and picture this place hundreds of years ago. Stuffed from floor to ceiling with thousands of aliens dead from plague. If you have nightmares here tonight, you'll know why. Last week, someone woke me up in the middle of the night. I felt claustrophobic, like I was trapped within the stone walls. My only impulse was to break out of here, but I was too confused to move. Then the feeling went away as quickly as it came. I think I was having a psychic connection with one of the plague spirits. Okay, let's stop talking about this. Hmm. No matter what game you play, it always reminds you of plague. They always come up again. What are my chances? My chances are garbage. 10 seconds? I'm not even gonna try. What a hilariously low chance of success. By low, I mean zero. Nope, this one's just not interactive at all. Okay, we have a chance here. That was the right answer. Shit.
<laughs> it's a little tense, the whole time limit and everything. The stakes aren't really there, though. Heal Grease. I'm a thief. How you doing, buddy? Zarlo. I swilled too much Pizzoula. I'm gonna spew. I'm gonna hurl all over the room. I wish the camera was looking down at him. I'm gonna pass out. Alright, good luck, Zib. Adri Adricus Tusk. I'm never gonna get any sleep. My brother talks in his sleep, like, all night. Weird things. I don't mind as much as... I don't mind as much if we didn't have a shipment of, uh... Spices to deliver to in Cordica by tomorrow. I can't handle another night without sleep. I can kill him for you. I need I need the money. Like I really need the money, apparently. No! I think that was the I think that was the right answer. But it has to finish the the action too. That's rough. I don't actually know if the numbers stay the same each time or not. I don't know the rules here. But that's good. I'm not paying any attention to the numbers, honestly. I'm just moving by X amount and reacting the whole time. Is this their spices? Quote unquote spices? Drugs? It's not even a good code for drugs, because usually the, they're just literally called spices in a lot of different sci fi universes, and those spices are all drugs. Eddie knows. He knows. Eddie knows Anachronox. It was anachronox like the back of his. Mom, that's butter. Mom? <laughs> Mom, that's butter. I don't. I don't know what to make of that reaction. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye.